so, got mine. <laughs> so <laughs> when people say a value of a dollar, well, the only thing I can think about, so the first time when you got your first big, big check, Mm-hmm. Didn't you go blow it like everybody else did? No, I was scared to death. Really? <laughs> I held on to it for a very long no. time. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, because, okay, so how old were you when you moved to Dallas? Uh, when I moved to Dallas, I want to say I was around 22 years old. 22. And when you were in Athens, you were raised with your mom and dad, right? Mm-hmm. And tell me a lesson that you learned from your father at a young age that stuck with you during life that helped you through your growing up ages. Um, he, I don't know if it was like really a lesson, uh, but he was just like really, really funny. Mm-hmm. And like, I just loved it. And so I wanted to be funny and I do think I'm funny. Um, and I, that, I got that side of him. But also one thing is like, he makes you understand the value of a dollar. He definitely made me understand that. Like, we were a very comfortable family, mm-hmm. but like nothing was ours. It was his. That was his. You know what I'm right. saying? And we had to go get ours. Okay. And now take money. I so, got mine. <laughs> so <laughs> when people say a value of a dollar, well, the only thing I can think about. So the first time when you got your first big, big check, mm-hmm. didn't you go blow it like everybody else did? No, I was scared to death. Really? <laughs> I held on to it for a very long no. time. Yeah. Yeah. My very first, first big check. Right. Oh, okay. So, uh, just I started doing hair is mm-hmm. what I started doing um, and I actually made really good money mm-hmm. because it was such a small town and I think that I was good at it and the clientele was it's word of mouth and country towns are very supportive of each other that's mm-hmm. one thing I know because I remember living in Terrell Texas at one time mm-hmm. and I yep, know that's that, where I found <laughs> <laughs> and I know that um, everybody know everybody and when you have a business they make it a point of duty to come to your business to support mm-hmm. you and they'll spread the word like it ain't nothing else and it was, it took me about six months to build clientele. And mm-hmm. I was like very discouraged in that time. But when it came, it came. It came. It came. And I was like low key balling. Okay? Oh, okay. And then I uh, moved to Dallas and mm-hmm. I didn't have the clientele. Mm. Because Dallas, there's so many hairdressers and there's so many big places. And it's, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go work for a chain as to where I was individually booth rental. But if you were low key balling down there, like why even come to Dallas? I just think that, it, like, was I it just, the music? No, because no, she I didn't wasn't even doing, knowing that. Yeah, well, then what you it. doing up here? I just, um, and you, one, I was getting into a little bit of a trouble, but not bad. Oh, so that's I why you left from down there. I was just hanging out with, with the wrong crowd. I wouldn't say the wrong crowd. It's just that we our our lives were different. You know, when you grow up together. When this is just being as honest as I can, mm-hmm. when you grow up together, it doesn't matter. But when you get older, it does matter. Like what people are doing. Like you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. When we're kids and like in high school, it doesn't matter what someone's job is. And Mm -hmm. when we're a little bit older, it doesn't matter. But when we're grown, like when I'm getting mine and I'm establishing a life for myself, it does matter what you do. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.